So today we're going to run around Hirschfeld in a little bit. Ever since Truerack Fallow came out, I have been hunting the map a little bit, but I've not done many videos on it. But I do want to get a diamond, especially now with the new lodge out, we can potentially add it to that. And there's actually a lot of multiplayer servers open on Hirschfeld right now, which is kind of rare, so hopefully we can take advantage of that. This server's kind of end of Fallow drink time, so we might go into hunting roadier a bit since they drink right after. But yeah, I mean, with this many servers open, we might as well give it a shot. Looks like there's actually quite a good number of bucks here. I'd say, though, that's got to be the best one. And also maybe the most difficult shot. So if we can maybe brain shot it, we might be able to get a shot in at that one as well. The problem is I kind of fell down here. Let's just get scooted down closer to the water's edge, because then at least it's a closer shot. Maybe from here, because I can kind of see both. I'll give it a shot anyway. Okay. It's tough to get a lung frontal. Yeah, we didn't get that one. And I can't see. I'll just get one at him. Couldn't see to get a follow-up, but that's a good start anyway. I want to, if I can, before... Uh, the drink time ends. I want to try to get over to this little lake because it's been really good for Fallow for the last month or so anyway. So, depending on how quickly that other one died, we may or may not track it. But yeah, that was actually a pretty good goal to start with, a solid 860. And there was hunting pressure fairly quick. It looks like we must have got something with that second shot, so we should be good to just follow this one quickly. Yeah, he just kind of went up into the trees and he is a little smaller so we made the right choice and I don't know we're gonna have to really book it over to that other lake so let's just uh grab him and get going oh we got lumbar vertebrae on that and we just got that unfortunate placement it's above the heart and between the two lungs that's that's good but at least like I said we got the better one and I don't know if we can get over here. Maybe if the fallow kind of hang out. Maybe their drink zone's a later one that goes like the extra half hour. So we'll see. I bet that's that fox that I saw. So I didn't throw my 223 in my inventory. And it's because the entire video I would just get out the wrong weapon if I did. So we'll get that. We'll take that back out of the inventory. Because I'm going to end up shooting like a fallow or a roe deer with the 223. And I don't want to do that by accident, so I wanted to bring it. I just didn't want to have that. But anyway, nice little level 4 fox bonus kill on our way over. That guy actually doesn't look too bad. I also think maybe he's glitched, because I'm surprised he wouldn't have spooked with the wind being bad and me running. But, eh, maybe I shouldn't go for that. That's a little better. All right. So, I know there's probably others. We'll see if we can maybe check tracks, because I heard a warning call that level 3 was running, so maybe it was that one. But I'm thinking there were some, like, right in this area, too. That's what it looks like. So there's an 86 kilo track. I actually think this one's going to be bigger than that. There's also an 85. I think he's bigger than both of those. Yeah, he's 88 kind of cool like I may mount that so like this part curls inward that's the first I've noticed that like any real uh, variance from one side to the other on a fallow deer I think it could look good like in a multi mount I mean why not we'll have it can put it in one if we maybe get a diamond and a rare at some point down the road alright so I guess not a bad start to road deer drink time Decent looking too. And I'll probably let him over there for a minute. At least till we kind of can see over on this side. Because it's just so thick up there. Once you get on that side, you can't see anything. Alright, all I'm seeing is a couple of does. I'm still doing the same thing I mentioned. Or I'm getting... Uh, I'm trying to get out the 223. But it's not there. So at least I know that I'm not going to shoot something with the wrong weapon. But... I think we might as well shoot that if we're going to run over here. So, yeah, that was just a silver. Bit of an uneven road here now as well. And, like, 
I don't understand how this happens, but I seem to get this a lot with this area. That's roughly where I was standing where I shot the female. And then the moment I'm over here, somehow he's standing over there. That was actually a hard shot. Not bad. Ooh, that looks pretty decent. That's got to be the biggest one we've seen so far. So I did end up switching servers. Uh, the last one got kind of full. I don't like to crowd other people. I didn't want to, like, you know, go to the same place anybody else was. So I thought I'd just join a new one. And I believe that might have been a good decision because that looks really solid. If he'll just take, like, another step or two, I think we're probably good, but... He just doesn't want to seem to give me a broadside shot. I imagine he will eventually, but I'm just looking at it. Like, he's way wider than the couple of, I think they were 860s that we shot, so he's got to be bigger. And I really don't want to mess up another frontal shot. So I think we're just going to wait it out, because eventually he has to. There it is. And hopefully not shoulder. Yeah, that'll work. Didn't want to wait all day because, of course, when it's multiplayer, I can't change the time back to go back to follow drink time. But this time I want to go to this lake again, but I want to go up and around so the wind's not bad. And luckily I actually have time to do that, this this server. Yeah, he's real good. 924 might be the biggest I've shot in the live game. We had a, a big one, a level 5 on the beta, but it was too small. I think he might have scored in the 930s, but... I suppose we'll mount that as well. Maybe we'll throw together a fallow multi-mount, at least temporarily. But I want to go up and around then to this lake. I actually don't see any males at this lake. It's kind of foggy, so I could be missing something. Not that I can really complain after what we just had at the last one. But we'll just pop one so we have a reason to go down there and check tracks anyway. And I didn't actually see any on my way in. Like, I had all the tracks from where they came from. They actually came up where I was. And I think it's just all females, so... We might as well go check a different lake. Alright, that's... Odd. Can you cross there? I don't know if I should shoot it there or not, but I want to find out, so... I think we are gonna try. He's not huge, so I'm not really worried about losing score. It might actually... Well, maybe not. I was going to say we might keep quick kill, but I think we got shoulder blade. So now we get to go find out if you can actually go out there. Oh, there's actually another buck, if you can call it that. I mean, we got to go over there anyways, so we might as well see if we can get him. Is he actually drinking? Because, yeah, a brain shot might be more doable. Although, it would be nice if he'd drink for more than half a second. Let's try this again. I know we gotta aim high, so that's the other awkward thing about it. Alright. Good thing we made the shot on the one that was already not big enough to make a gold, but... We got a bonus one anyway. So there's that one anyway. He... yeah. That's a monster. It wouldn't have been even close to gold. And then... yeah, I guess you can go out here. He looked like he was, like, fully submerged in the water when he was running out. So I wasn't sure that we'd even be able to claim him, but... Evidently, that's a thing. And what do we do? Oh, we shot too high. Okay. That makes sense, anyway. I wish... Maybe I can use, do it like this. Just for... Maybe... Thumbnails or something in the future. You don't get a lot of those kind of action shot things and... I don't know, and kind of tilt him down and get that one. But yeah, we maybe can go to one more spot uh, before their drink time's over, so maybe we'll try this one over in Rathenfelt. Ah, they were all down here. I thought maybe there were none here. Alright. There's a buck. I'm assuming the one that would be out front is probably the best one. Just because, like, in theory, the higher level ones are going to spook first. We'll check tracks still when we go through here, but I didn't see anything better. This is definitely the only track I see from a male, but 
We're back into roadier time, and I think we'll probably hunt that out for a little bit, and then likely that'll do it for this video, but that was actually stomach liver. Still worked. But anyway, uh, we'll go down here into Tishanal, because it's a bit of a run to go to this lake. Hopefully it gives them time to actually get into their zone. Alright, I guess I got here early, because this guy was warning Colin behind me. Also, probably somewhat useful he's a level 1, because I don't think we're getting a bigger one in that close with the wind as it is, but it's good to know that it was a level 1, and I'm not running around trying to find tracks from him anyway. But that's a 691, so not very interesting. I do want to go up to this lake, though, because I've had some luck up there in the past. I think that's the road here I'm tracking. I don't really know what he's doing. Because I thought he was going up to that lake we were going to. But then it seemed like he just turned around and walked all the way back. But he's 30 kilos, which is pretty solid. So I'd like to get him if he'd cooperate. There he is. All right. Uh, he actually looks pretty good. If I would have seen that and not know what I was tracking, I would have guessed that could have been maybe a three when I saw the antlers. So, I could just go ahead and slide that shot in there, I think, before he tries to escape me again. At least I assume that's the same one I've been after. He did look really quite solid. So that could actually be something we throw in the Hirschfelden Lodge, at least temporarily. That is the one. He's only 872. But honestly, really solid looking road here, so I think we'll go ahead and taxidermize that. And we'll head into the lodge. So at the moment, my Hirschfelden room is just this little kind of side room. And, uh, sort of just got a bunch of everything. But there's actually room for, like, a couple of bison and red deer in here, so I think I may keep it this way. But anyway, we have those couple of fallow that we mounted. I do want to do a multi-mount for them. Uh, the current setup, I don't actually have room for one, but I'm not even 100% sure this is what I want to do. As my Hirschfelden room, I may very well end up doing like two different lodges, having one for three maps and one for the other three. But there's the spot for our road here. He's a really odd looking one, but I like it. Like, I don't know. I don't have any real life experience with road here. But as far as I can tell, like that is something that could happen. That kind of wonky antler growth. So I think it's pretty cool. But we got couple of things added. Again, it's probably temporary. That's actually a Hall of Shame red deer up there, but I put him in here because I didn't have anywhere else to put him. Yeah. Getting some stuff on the wall in here anyway. That was actually a decent Hirschfeld on. It's nice to get around that map every now and then. It tends to be a little bit boring, but I enjoyed that. But anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.